today's Walton adventure in this video is going to take you into some arts and crafts. Karen is going around looking for different little stones, just like these, if you can see them. And she takes each one, she looks at them to see if it meets the profile of what she wants to make, and then she paints them. And when she's done, she has created a piece of art. Something any of you could do. You could look around in your yard. I'm sure you might have pebbles or stones. Or look outside your yard for pebbles and stones. And you too can paint them and create art. A lot of fun. Hope you enjoy this one. First I find a small I'll put it over here and then I'll find kind of a long one. Like this one might be too big. Let's see. So then you want to keep all the rest of them about that size. And get one for the center and then seven for the outside. Total of eight. There's lots of rocks. That's probably too big. Well, maybe not. That one's probably too small. I'll set it aside. <laughs> Some things go, hmm. Mm -hmm. That one looks pretty good, and this one might be a little too big, but, you know, each flower is different. Let's go with that. We take them inside, we wash them with soap and water, and thoroughly dry them before we paint them. That's it. In we go. Okay, because of this red color, I tried to already to do it, and I realized sometimes you have to base coat whatever you're going to do in white or black. So I'm just going to go ahead and base coat, since I want it to be red, I'm going to base coat it white. I usually go ahead and paint the bottom side, but that's not really going to show. But probably put two coats of white paint on this and then go back with two to three coats of the red. And you just got to make sure that it thoroughly dries in between coats. Okay, now we're 
ready for the red. And as you can see, this goes on much better over the white. It will take a couple good coats. I did base coat the back side. I use an old paintbrush. 